Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial video. I, Palladium PD, am your host and today I want to show you my design for the Destructor Mat 3000 item destroying machine and his little brother, the Destructor Mat 1000. So, I'm going to use this example here to show you the functionality. This is the same as the build that I uh, used in the contingency server. So, let's have a look at the functionality. We'll grab a few items that you might not want on your server and because there's two hoppers below the items will be taken from the chest at the same rate as the maximum dropper dispenser rate so if we want to destroy the items now we press commit to destruction and if we decided that, that we actually really wanted to keep the items we press emergency stop and all of the items are now in the dropper we access that we can save the sponge from destruction so, let's have a little look at the redstone and then I will show you the design that I have come up with. So the red part here is a clock. It only activates if the dropper has items in it. And it is also controlled by this RS null latch, which is the blue part. So here we have an RS null latch and the output of the RS null latch is controlling the functioning of the clock and it's also uh, switched by this dropper becoming empty. So one switch is the dropper becoming empty, the other switch is this button here. Then over here we have the emergency stop button that completely disables the clock regardless of what we do here and that is just a simple T flip flop which as you can see here is not the most efficient design possible which is why I have improved it. So let's go over here and I'll show you the design for the 3000 version and then we'll build it step by step. So here again we have a clock but this time we are using a torch repeater which allows us to create this AND gate here with the uh, RS NOR latch and that is making things a lot more efficient giving us the right output. Also this now means that if you press the commit to destruction the light turns on instantaneously which gives us a signal that we've pressed it and also if you insert items into the chest while the light is burning then they will continue to be destroyed so that is uh, part of that functionality now over here we again have a T flip flop however this time it is much faster responding so if we press the button you can see the light turns on almost instantly and that is reflecting the clock being stopped almost instantly as well. It's not just the light turning on and then sometime later the clock stops. They both happen at the same time. So you can see we have over here there is a repeater at three ticks and a torch. Both of their signals are sent down here to these two repeaters into that one repeater which will flip depending on whether we press the button. So that signal goes into here this is the input signal into the clock and that, that is controlling this torch right here so as long as that signal is on this torch is unable to turn on which means the clock will stay off and again if the RS NOR latch is in the state where this torch is burning then the clock will be off and if the clock is in the state where there's nothing in the dropper this torch will be on this torch will be off the clock will not work so again we can see already a few improvements on the other system first of all the emergency stop is pretty much instantaneous the uh, T flip flop here is more efficient it doesn't use a repeater and over here the clock is just a bit better laid out it is longer um, but that's a trade-off so that is also good and Furthermore, we have this little door here, which normally, if you just step on the pressure plate, because there are two uh, uh, there's a two redstone dust here, it will not normally activate. But if you throw two stacks of items that you don't really care about, if I can aim properly, so we throw two stacks of items down, and we can access the dropper with the items that we wanted to save. Or alternatively, of course, you can throw items that don't stack and that will work the same way. 
All right, so let's have a look at the little brother. Little brother. This one is a lot simpler, and um, this is one you might consider building at your base. So maybe this is one you want to build at your for your server, and this is one that you want to build at your base, just because it's simpler and cheaper and really just easier to build. So here again we have the clock. This time we have the torch repeater turned on its side so that uh, it is going like this and this uh, comparator is the, the clock is on its side as well. The T flip flop is uh, well this is a mirror image so there is no T flip flop this is actually just a button that is switching the RS null latch back to the base mode so if we put items into here we can see that the clocks uh, torch is now off so once that torch turns off the the clock will initiate disposal so we can trigger that like so and then this just resets the RS null that you can see that went off and the speed is good because uh, there's only two repeaters in between that signal so that signal is going to that block that block uh, activates this redstone turns this torch off and therefore switches the RS null latch. So that is the functionality and now we will build it. First we'll build the Destructor Met 1000, the little brother. So place down your cactus above the cactus goes your dropper facing down and then we need glass to confine the items so that they don't fall out. Now place hoppers in your chest. Now begin with the redstone. First the clock. So we have a torch coming out of this redstone dust below. A torch on here that completes the redstone repeater, I mean the uh, torch repeater. Comparator with the front on onto a block. signal gets cycled through and sent over here like so now we do the T flip flop place button over here make a 2x2 two two platform and continue over here going one up there with a torch going into this dust. Another reset. Place a button in the same place on the other side. Redstone dust and repeater. Sends the signal down. And across. Use a repeater to inject the signal. the wrong block. So we'll check it. Place an item in there. Should end up in the dropper. If we do that, that should dispense it. And if we have a lot of items, should continue to get destroyed until we turn the clock off. Good. Let's build the big brother. Alright, now let's build the 3000 version. Start is the same. 
comparator. Signal goes into a torch. On block space, dust, torch. That completes the redstone repeater. Torch repeater. Switch the comparator on. And redstone to complete the clock. Now we take the signal up and up again. Along here, down one. Connects here, so we need to disconnect that. That completes the clock. Now we do the RS Norlatch. I'll just place the button for the other side too. Signal down one, along four. And down one on this side. Over here place a torch. Same one and a half block gap. With dust and up here. Now to complete the RS Nor latch place a torch there. The latch should not switch if we press this with no items in there. So let's test. Is the latch going to switch? Yes it is. And it should switch back once the dropper is empty. Now build the T flip flop. Go down a level. Place dust. Repeat on the third delay. Torch. Repeat a signal is going to that block and we'll come down to this level. So we unify their signal. Which block is their signal going into? It's going into the block right there. So, we place the block like so. Dust is going there. The repeater carrying the signal will go there. and place the two repeaters that lock it in place like so. Now this should be fully operational. Check if it switches. Correct. Now we need to take this signal up. To control the lamp. Press this, should switch the lamp on, and it should switch back off. Again here, I'll do the lamp. Cut the signal off so that it goes into the lamp. And place. Should not permanently switch on unless we have items in the dispenser. Or rather the dropper. The light will stay on until the dropper finishes dispensing the items. Now let's take care of one final item. We're going to use a piston. So we need some facing block. And sand. So when the piston is up, that's the closed position. Here's our floor.
place the pressure plate in the middle to redstone dust and a torch. That completes this build, but you should always decorate it, case it, make it look good. If you put the effort in to build it, you may as well. Some people know that if you place snow layers next to a cactus, that will work out nicely, so we will do that. That'll block any unsightly sight lines below. Now we have a fully functioning destructor mat. Again, we can case behind here. That should take care of it. Emergency stop, re enable, begin destroying items. And of course, the last thing we should do is make sure that we label them both correctly. So, this is starting destruction, and that's emergency stop. So, let's use labels. find it's useful to use a nice colorful phrase. Emergency stop. Done. Thanks for watching.